All right, guys, I'm going to be quoting this uh, little article that I came across. Deontay Wilder himself said that as far as networks are concerned, he is a free agent. Aram noted Wednesday morning on ESPN Sports Center. Today, we are sending out an offer to Deontay Wilder, which will also go to his manager, Shelly Finkel, and his advisor, Al Heyman, making this offer, which is a tremendous one, to do the fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. So that was what uh, his uh, the uh, Tyson Fury's new promoter or co-promoter, because I believe he's still promoted by uh, Frank Warren, so I, I would imagine he's like his co-promoter, right? Bob Adams, Bob Adams said this morning that uh, he's going to uh, send Deontay Wilder or Al Heyman, uh, Deontay Wilder's advisor, a tremendous offer, right? Which is tremendous means, you know, something really good, something big uh, to make the fight happen. Now, I already told you guys or I reported to you guys before that uh, Aram is trying to make this fight for Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder push back to be made on September uh, because he says it's going to be better for... Uh, you know, just financially, they're going to make more money if they fought in September rather than if they fought in May, June, as the first fight was originally going to take place because it's going to be it's going to be better for both of them, basically. So I would imagine if he does offer, uh, you know, Deontay Wilder, whatever he's offering him, he's probably going to say to for this fight to happen sometime in September. And I don't know if Deontay Wilder is going to accept his offer. But if he does accept this fight, and let's say the fight gets made in September, uh, is is it going to be a thing where Wilder could take a free, you know, a uh, voluntary defense? Because, you know, September is seven months away. Or is it going to be a thing where Wilder's just going to be out? He's not going to be fighting until, if he does accept the, the rematch, he's not going to be fighting until September. Because, like I said, um, they wanted it to wait till, they wanted to make the rematch September, so... That's what I'm curious about. If he does accept it, and let, let's say the fight does get made and his contract to fight for a September, uh, will he wait and be out of the ring until September, or will he take like a voluntary defense? And you you guys already know where I stand with the voluntary defense. If he does take a voluntary defense, who is it going to be up? You know, who is it going to be against with? So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. Now you know uh, he's going to get an offer by Bob Arum, Mister uh, Deontay Wilder. So let's see if he accepts it, you know. Obviously, Deontay Wilder doesn't fight on on the, on a, on, a, on a, any network. I thought he was on Showtime. I thought he, but he, he has no contract with Showtime. Uh, they just broadcast his fight. So uh, technically, if he wanted to fight anyone, he could fight anyone because he has no, you know, he's, he has no contract. He's not like bounded to fighting for one network like Showtime or ESPN. So yeah, he could still fight uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah, he could fight Anthony Joshua. He could fight any of these dudes. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, I wonder how much uh, he's going to be, uh, Bob Arum is going to send him for the rematch. I mean, let, 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 let's let's wait and see, I guess. Anyway, guys, I have to say, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.